and going back to something that I love which is a friend set this one is 41432 the alpaca mountain jungle rescue retails in the UK at 54.99 and has 512 pieces it's about 11 pence per piece but just from looking at the pack art you can see there's some quite big molded pieces you've got the waterfall bits which is what I wanted it for you've got this like little mountain build a couple of sheep all sorts in there uh, only comes with two minifigures again one of my issues with the friend set not enough of the mini dolls in them to make a proper play set we've got Stephanie and Mia in this one and a nice little bit of pack art at the top usual bump whoops a daisy on the sides usual disclaimers the back of the pack has loads of close-up images of what you actually get on the set. They're fed, actually, they're not cheap. They're llamas. They are really cute. And you seem to get three of them. I thought they won't be llamas. Well, they'll be alpacas, hence the name of the bloody set. Do you know, my brain is not functional. It really isn't. So let us break it open and see what's in here. There we go. Take it all out. Make sure I've got everything. It's not the first time I've left some at the bottom at night. So, run over here for the time being. Bag of like mountainy bits and a couple of strings. One, two, three. So on with the four bags. Four, three, two, one. So four basic build steps. They'll come in at some point, I am more than sure. And looking before I cut in, we've got two booklets and a fairly small sticker sheet. I'm caught with that. That's the little sticker sheet. Got something that looks like lava on there. I like this with the the little map with the lamp with the alpacas. Stop calling them llamas. The alpacas on. And the little leaf and paw print heart that we see on a lot of the friends jungle sets. So but one is quite a small one. I'm guessing this is gonna be sort of the building and the helicopter and this little log boat. So bag one, we build whichever one that is. I think that's Stephanie. So yeah, there's the little log boat. Actually looks kind of cute. Makes me think of the log flume as was at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. A little building so yeah that's book one log boat and the building book two is the helicopter and the actual mountain Shoot all the way through of course the best bit the bit we've bought it for the mountain will be last it'll keep me building up on it that's the intrigue of getting there. In fact, there's quite a bit going on on that mountain, actually. Mm. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. But slightly more involved than I initially anticipated. Oh, my neck. Oh, and how to connect. Oh, I see the housey bit connects via a slide <coughs> to the mountain. That's cute. Oh, I'll have to, I'll have, to have a play with that. Right, it gives you some of the other sets at the back there. Which I'm pretty sure we've got most of those. I know we've built that one. It looks slightly different from that angle. 
built that one we've built that I haven't I've got the panda nursery I'm pretty sure but I haven't built it yet and then so the little blue bird is supposed to be a parrot there's the alpacas there's the inspiration for the set I do like it's the National Geographic Lincoln again and then some of the other friends sets so you've got the water park I love that water park that was a really fun build got the party plane not really keen got the beach house there and you've got your kit list at the back orange brick separator Boom. Boom. so although we've got two of those purple bits the connecting strings you only need one for the build and then in the back your product feedback thing so yeah 512 pieces what's that an hour 90 minutes not a massively long build or a massively intricate build or anything but i am looking forward to it nice little uh afternoon project before you're going back to work tomorrow and back into the office after 18 months of working from home not looking forward to that so gonna go get this built and i'll be back in a little bit got it all built and um, these are the basically the mini figs it comes with so you get the three alpacas two of this creamy white and one of the little brown guys and you get the two figures Mia with the red hair and Stephanie and they're both dressed very similarly and again you've only got the one face so the moulding and the backs are very plain I think is the best description so that's Stephanie and this is Mia and I've given her the uh, paddle for the canoe There's a little bit more detail on the back of her top but yeah only the two mini dolls you do get the option of a crash hat to put on for when she's canoeing which is a nice little touch got a very basic little helicopter it's actually quite a fun build and it's got skids because of the way they shape their skid so it can land on the water it's got its little rescue basket there and that just flips open for you to put all your mini dolls or all your mini figs in just simple and this is on a winch so it does go up and down and go the opposite direction bring it back up that does depend on which way round you wound it. I hate winding those. Got the look. I think this is really cute. That little log bot. <coughs> Not quite sure if it'll stay on particularly well. I don't think the um Oh yeah. Where the feet clip in. You see that the feet just slide on. It does sort of hold quite well. Not gonna fall off. We've got a little house with a dock. A couple of life jackets. So if they are going on the canoe you can put a life jacket on. In fact, I'm going to move the helmet over here as well. I've just put a couple of studs together that were spares that I can use for the uh crash helmet to mount on because I've had trouble with them running away got a little whatever that is supposed to be on that tile but you also have a little little laptop and I'm going to say watching funny cat videos I know it's supposed to be a bit of a medical centre so it's probably something highly important watching silly cat videos because that's fun so, got a little geode there got a geologist's hammer 
magnifying glass. I love the fact that the Lego magnifying glasses do actually work. Got a little, I just realised my walkie talkie's right up against that fire. You've got a little camp gas stove there. Frying pan with an egg or cups. I love the chimney build. I think that's really cute. So there's loads of details just on that little peripheral build. And then you come to the alpaca mountain, which is the whole reason we have this. Yep, stop doing that. That is the only problem. That is very trigger happy, that section there. I'll have to take it off first, otherwise you'll not be able to see it properly. So you can see you've got this little crown top, blue bird. This is actually supposed to be lava flow. So you've got some little transparent orange bricks. And they just you actually there's actually three of them in there, but because I've got them sideways on, there's only the top one actually fires out, and then of course you've got this which folds down with the fire or flips up. And obviously you've got, how, I don't know quite how you're supposed to get to this balcony to get to the lookout point because there are no doors or anything but oh I see you climb around here up 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 and jump down so all right fair enough I figured it out so you've got the little balcony with the waterfall underneath lots of greenery if you turn it to the back this is where all the fun stuff is so if we start over here you see you've got a few little hay beds which i presume are where the llamas chill out we've got a little room there which i can't remember what's in it come here yeah that's just got like a little fire and you can get to that through here so it's just like a little campfire area and then over here if we lift the miner's lamp up got a little sorry about that a little crate with some mined gems in slides in there and then you use the miner's lantern to hold it in place you've got the little pickaxe then if we move up here you've got a little room with bat hanging off the ceiling and some stalactites little door area and that's just behind the waterfall and then up here you can see there's some lava there because that's inside the volcano and that's like a little volcano room so you transparent orange but what I do like it's in the bottom one here not sure how well that will show up but that sticker is actually supposed to be a cave painting with the llamas on which I think is really fun so yeah that's the actual mountain but what we need to do now we've done that is that pushes in there oops a daisy Take them out and we don't do it again. This bit hooks through there. I think we'll do it that way. And then it pushes onto there. And we've got a little zip wire. So if we get one of our dolls, clip them on, hopefully it will work. I think this is actually quite a fun little play feature and I can see how it would give people a lot of fun to play with so if we pull that quite tight bring it up to the top we'll just stick there and pull it taut <coughs> In theory, she should slide down. Hey. 
Yeah, it works. It's the little things, it's the little things in life. So I'll leave that tucked on there. Oh, the white wood I'm going to hang that one. There you go, it can go there for now. Just purely because at some point I am going to have to transfer this upstairs somewhere and I'm not quite sure how best to do that because I don't know where it's going to live. Also, they are getting right on my last wick. They will definitely get lost. No matter how careful you are playing with it, they will get lost. Nothing sure. No, you can go there. The alpacas, however, get to come and play on the mountain. So that's one, two, three, and then see as you've got the paddle, you can go on the little boat. So the actual mountain, the house, the helicopter and the little canoe stroke paddle boat thing. Um, all in all it only took an hour and a half to build which I don't think was too bad. 512 pieces. Set number is 41432 and it's the Alpaca Mountain Jungle Rescue Set. What a play value on this one. It is a really good play set. Very impressed with it. Very impressed. Uh, so that is definitely a five star. I have a sneaky suspicion it may be being retired soon. It's on sale on the lego.com store in the UK at the moment which usually means they're coming up for retirement but uh, yeah really pleased with that so if you can grab hold of one it is recommended do like this a lot mind you I love the friend stuff as we've already said so thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed the video have a great day and I'll see you again very soon bye bye Oh, but I was here for you recreating the challenge of disaster that you were sat and fight. Fuck off. It must sit in there. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Why? Yeah, well, that is a tricky little bleeder to put together. The number of pictures I've seen of people where they've dropped the bastard thing after they've built it.